I gotta come in and do it. Alright, fuck, fuck, fuck you guys. Dude. And here we go, fans. First time in a long time back here on Royal. I am good buddy Joe. And we are having a wild card six man tag team title match. Some definitely weird teams our officials came up with here. We got Dante Davis, Mr. Black. We got the leader of the Wolfpack, Ross Thomas. And uh, better than the best, or so he says, Jordan Bass. Teaming up against Scott Tyler, representing TNS. You got Andrew Garrett, Mr. Smooth. This is his first match back since his injury. And you also got Big Johnny two times. I don't know who I'm giving the advantage to in this match. I, I got to go with the team with Johnny. As we see Dante Davis almost score a pin on Scott Tyler. Johnny two times is definitely an unknown factor. We're going to see how he plays into this match. But right now, it's Dante Davis and Scott Tyler, two guys with a lot to prove uh, going at it. They've been back and forth so far. And Dante hits the blackout right on the knee. He's got to go for that pin. It doesn't seem he's doing it, though. And instead, Andrew Garrett tags in. Scott Tyler is out. And now the two members of the chocolate frame, and they're hugging it out. This is beautiful. But unfortunately, they are opponents in this match. We're just going to see which one turns on each other first. Because it's got to happen inevitably. Ah, it doesn't seem like they're doing it now. Ah, well, I guess we're just waiting. Ah! Yeah, there we go. And out goes Garrett. I'm kind of shocked. And out goes Davis. Both members of the chocolate train now out of the match. And in comes Johnny two times and Jordan Bass. I don't think there's ever been a more stark contrast as Jordan Bass I can barely see against the color of the house. And now Johnny two times going to work. Jordan Bass praying. Praying that he doesn't get his ass kicked by Johnny two times. But I sure, sure hope he does. Now Johnny just waiting. I, I, if I'm him, I'm just going to town on Bass. It appears they're on good terms. They are shaking hands. And now two times hits him with a huge spine buster. And goes for the cover on the former champion. And only a two count. Very good uh, maneuver there by Johnny two times. If two times is able to get a pin on Bass, you got to imagine he's got to be in title contention. Maybe after deadlock, where Chase Wilson will be defending his title against Brandon Steele. That event will be coming to you soon. It'll also feature the last match of Ross Thomas in KCCW. He will be having a no disqualification match against Andrew Garrett. Now we see two times still on the offense against Jordan Bass. Really laying into him here with a huge punch to the head. Definitely a deadly blow. And now going for a German suplex. And just treats Bass like a toy, throwing him around. And now Johnny going for the cover. But unfortunately, Bass poked him in the eye. Definitely cheating. But now Bass has the big man right where he wants him. And now just going right at him with a huge knee. Takes Johnny two times to the ground. Bass doesn't even know what to do with himself. He's just going for the cover. And two. He, only, he did waste a bit of time there. I think that was a mistake. But now he realizes that he's just not going to get Giant two times down. And he tags in Ross Thomas. So the White Wolf taking on Giant two times here. He's got a good advantage coming in fresh. And he's able to take the big man down. If you keep Giant two times down, I think that's how you're going to defeat him. If he's still on his feet, he's just causing havoc as we saw a good pass. But Ross Thomas now choking him. Official Avery's got to get in there and stop this. This is, this is illegal. Oh, big sent down by Ross Thomas. Ross Thomas, uh, of course, as I just said, having his final match at Death Lock. Uh, it appears this may be his second to last match, so this is one of the last times we're ever going to see the White Wolf in the KCCW ring. I'm very interested to see on what note he goes out on. And out goes two times. In comes Scott Tyler, representing TNS with that big kick. And another big kick to Ross Thomas, taking him right down. These two are very talented. Uh, they've done some questionable things in the past. Questionable. Scott Tyler hitting a standing moon Scott right on top of Ross. And now Ross going for it. Ooh, nice single leg takedown there. 
And now just going for a wolf bang. And that takes Scott Tyler down. We've seen him use that move. Of course, that was the move that injured Andrew Garrett. And another wolf bang right there. My goodness, this is ridiculous. Ross Thomas now going for cover. We're going to see if that takes Scott out. Oh, only a two. Definitely very impressive. We don't see too many people kick out of that wolf bang. He's definitely done a lot of damage. He was going for it again, but Scott Tyler with a nice elbow takes Ross Thomas down. Now it looks like he might be going to the deck here. We'll see what happens. And, oh, but Ross is fighting it, but Scott with another huge elbow takes him down. And now he tags in Mr. Smooth. We know the history these two have. Of course, as I said, they will be competing against each other at deadlock. But uh, right now, Ross Thomas appears to have the upper hand against both Tyler. At least for the time. Got it. Nice move there. Um, Garrett, uh, of course, was injured by Ross Thomas with that wolf fang. It kept him out of action for quite some time. But now he's back and he's definitely looking for retribution as he's got Ross down on the floor. Only a two count, but Ross is able to overpower him. You got to wonder how that bum ankle is going to hold up. You see a brace on his leg. And... Oh, ooh, nice day down there by Andrew. Uh, I was with a bunch of other KCW officials at Applebee's this past week. We got Mobes, we got Official Avery, Charlie Eisenreich, Big Official Alvern, Hannah, and we were all talking about the legacy of Ross Thomas as he's on his way. I think it's definitely going to go down as one of the better careers here in KCCW, although he had definitely some questionable moments, including the kidnapping of both Dion and Dominic Malolo. As Jordan Bass has a very nice quick strike there right off the top of the deck. And now going for the cover on Frit. Ooh, only a two. Surprised Garrett was able to kick out of such a maneuver. Bass looks shocked, and he's definitely not happy about that. He was hoping that match would win. That move would win him the match. I'm sorry. And now we see it. Garrett stomping on the ankle of Jordan Bass. And he tags in Scott Tyler. These two have no love lost either. Of course, they were both competitors in that feed four-way. saw Chase Wilson with ACCW Heavyweight Championship. As we see a very nice uh, move there on Jordan Bass using the knee. And now Scott going on the cover. Only two. Scott doing quite well here. I'm really, really desperate. At least someone that I think is still in the title picture despite multiple uh, losses. Very excited to see a possible singles match between him and Chase. Oh, and right there, he just tossed Jordan Bash to kick him right in the side of the head. Not giving the former champion too much respect, which is pretty consistent with what we've seen with Scott. And now he's got him up for that go to Scott, but he misses it. Jordan Bass! Oh my goodness, almost a brain buster, but more along the lines of a suplex there. That was insane. Oh, wow, that was a really, really brutal snap suplex that keeps Scott Tyler down. This is one action-packed match. These guys are pulling out standing moonsaults and suplexes. This is crazy. And Jordan Bass, once again, going for the eyes. We saw him do this to Johnny two times earlier. Now it's hitting Scott knees to the chest, but Scott doesn't want any of it. These two are all up in each other's face. We're going to see who comes out on the receiving end. Oh, it looks like they're going to start chopping the living hell out of each other, ladies and gentlemen. Let's sit back and watch how this one unfolds. Jordan Bass screaming in agony. Scott Tyler obviously is the upper hand right now as Jordan Bass just falls to the ground. Now he just flips him over with his foot. Scott Tyler going for a very lackadaisical cover. Official Avery is even refusing to count the pin and only a one count. Definitely a weak move by Tyler. Now we see Scott Tyler picking up Jordan Bass. You gotta wonder what he's going for here. Ooh, but Bass hit the chop. He's able to retaliate. And now it looks like he's going for some sort of neck breaker. Oh! I don't even know what to call that, but Scott Tyler reversed it. Scott Tyler reversed it. Ooh, almost a three. I don't even know what that move was. I don't even know how to describe it. But that was awesome. And Scott yeah, Tyler with a huge reversal. That could have match. And now it looks like Scott once again going for that go to Scott. And he almost had it, but he missed it. And Bass flipped him right on his head with his knee. Very neat. And in comes someone. I don't know why. Mr. Black, Dante Davis. 
I thought I was going for that black ball off the deck. So, Zuplex! And Scott Tyler almost came cracking out right at his knee. Definitely a very awkward landing. But Dante Davis takes advantage with a cover and only a two. Wow, that was close. Scott Tyler did not land very well on his back on that one, on his knees. And now it looks like he... And the fuck up! He got him. He got him. Fuck up. Oh, oh gosh, only a two going. count. Uh, that move has put away many in the past. I'm shocked it didn't put away Tyler. Now both these men rising to their feet. And Davis with a big forearm. But it doesn't look like it faced Tyler all that much. And now a chop. These two are going back and forth. Scott Tyler's not interested in shading chops. He's only interested in those elbows. And that sends Davis back. He sent him for a loop. And now a big missile drop kick. Takes down Mr. Black. Scott Tyler is on a roll right now. And it looks like he's going to tag in someone from his team. But we don't know who yet. Drags Davis over towards the deck. And it looks like Johnny Two Times is in for Scott Tyler's team. But now we get to see Johnny Two Times and Mr. Black go at it. And it looks like he's going for a big kick. Definitely a lot of force behind that one. Johnny two times puts all his weight on the shoulders of Mr. Black, but Ross Thomas in to break it up. Probably a very smart move. And now Jordan Bass is in. Uh oh, this is div this is total chaos now. Official Avery's got to get on this. Almost every member of the team, all five members, except for Scott Tyler, are out here fighting for supremacy. Scott Tyler's got to get in there. His team is at a disadvantage. We see Garrett and Bass going at it. We see Ross Thomas coming in to defend Jordan Bass. We see Johnny Two Times running up there on the deck. Mr. Black's on the ground. This is insanity. And now it looks like Scott Tyler's getting inside. He's kicking Andrew Garrett in the stomach. We can't really see what's going on. The cameraman's blocking our view. But it looks like Scott Tyler's getting... Oh! Oh! Oh my god! What the hell? Scott Tyler right off the deck. Johnny two times just threw him like a projectile. He takes out the other four people down there. He ended up taking out one of his teammates, but I mean, I, wow, that was crazy. I've never seen anything like that. And now it looks like Johnny two times. Oh, he went to the top of the deck. And he landed on the white wolf Ross Thomas, who. Oh, shockingly kicked out. I have never seen anything like that here in KCCW. Scott Tyler just got thrown over the deck and landed cleanly on all the other competitors below. It's incredible. Even Brandon Steele is out here to watch the action. You got to wonder uh, if Brandon Steele is able to defeat Chase Wilson uh, for that KCCW title at deadlock as we see Mr. Black at a big spear. He's got to be stouting for possible uh, possible competitors here. I mean, all of these guys are definitely in the running, especially if they're able to secure a pin. And that applies to Mr. Black Dante Davis, who has the pin on Johnny two times, but official Avery, a little late to the call, could have ended up costing him the match there. But only a two count. Definitely a very impressive spear. Takes the big man down. And now we see Mr. Black trying to limp away. It's going to be interesting to see who gets their feet first. It looks like, yes, it will be Johnny two times. And he just applies all his weight. He doesn't exactly have him down yet. Looks like his shoulder was slightly up. Uh, official Avery was hesitant to the call, thankfully. Uh, and now Johnny Two Times has control. It looks like he is going for the... Yes, the bear hug, bear hug. Johnny Two Times' signature move. We saw him win in his debut with this move. Who knows what's going to happen? And fans, as you saw, redbubble.com slash people slash Jordan Gilmo to get merch for almost every single person in this match. If you got a favorite superstar, there's a good chance we got shirts for him. As we see Johnny two times now uh, in there with Ross Thomas during the commercial break. Ross came in, uh, tagged out Dante, and it's been like this. Uh, he's had the upper hand for quite some time. Giant two times has been in there for a while. Someone from his team has got to tag in and get him some air. And now we're also the cover on Johnny and Scott Tyler. Does a little bit of interference. Uh, almost runs up the wall. Oh, of Ross Thomas and Jordan Bass with a big quick strike there. Takes him out. And this is once again delving into chaos. Jordan is helping Ross. Scott Tyler is down. 
We definitely need Andrew Garrett in there to stop this. But Johnny two times throws both of them down and gets. It looks like he got tagged. I think he has tagged in Mr. Smooth in it. And he has. Once again, these two going at it, only fitting. Their match at Deadlock so close. The final match of Ross Thomas. This book is closing soon. And we're going to see how they decide to write the final chapters. And now Ross Thomas overpowers Garrett with that bum ankle. That's definitely hurting him here. And it looks like he's going for a wolf fang. The very same move that injured him. It looked like the ankle definitely didn't do well on that fall. And now with a big elbow, another one. And he goes for the cover on Garrett. One, two. But Scott Tyler runs interference again and will not allow this to happen. Scott Tyler and now Bass and Davis and two times all running out to try and help their team. Johnny two times big DDT. Bass hit an ego trip on Toss Tom. Looks like he might be going for a wolf. That's Scott Tyler. And he hits it perfectly. This is just not looking good for the team of Garrett, Tyler, and two times Bass. Thomas and Davis are putting the beating on him. And now Giant two times able to fight it off at least a little bit. Hits a big DDT DDT on Dante Davis. But Ross Thomas is still stopping it. Garrett's head. And now we see Ross Thomas trying to drag Jordan Bass back from the dead. And he also drags Davis up as well. This is not looking good for the other team. And now Garrett's fighting back. Garrett's fighting back. But it doesn't do much. The rest of his team getting pummeled. Now it looks like Garrett's going for the smooth criminal. And he hits it right there on Ross Thomas. And Dante Davis is able to take him out. But Garrett had a cover. And it was only a two count. This is going nuts. These two are going at it. Everyone's going at it right now. This is a fight for the ages. I don't think we could have picked any better teams here tonight. Yes, the go to Scott. And that might do it. Garrett on the cover. One, two, three. That is it. This match is over. What a wild fight. Truly crazy. And Andrew Garrett, Scott Tyler, and Johnny Two Times end up victorious in this Wild Card Six Man Tag Team Main Event. Their hands are held in victory, of course.